Ruby from WoodenLutz.com and today I'm here with a lady in London, Julie. Hi Julie, how Hi. are you going? I'm fine, thanks, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming and joining me in Hyde Park. It's beautiful today. We're yeah. lucky to have a nice day in London. Definitely. Um, so today I'd love to ask you about how you got into a lady in London, a bit about your background and um, some tips that we can give for people at home. So for people that don't know about a lady in London, do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what, what the blog is, what style of travel you do? Um, sure. Yeah. yeah, well I started a lady in London in 2007 when I moved from San Francisco to London after leaving a career in banking. Okay. And I, Originally started it as a hobby, and then about two, two and a half years later, it had gotten enough of a following that I decided to turn it into a business. So I've been doing it full time since January 2010, okay. um, and it's mostly about lifestyle in London and travel all over the world, with like kind of a foodie and luxury. Okay, lovely. Yeah. What was the, the like aha uh -huh point? I'm I'm going to not work, uh, you know, doing anything else. I'm going to do the blog full time. I think it was when the blog really got enough traction that I started seeing an uptick in traffic and interest from advertisers and things like that. That I thought, okay, I think you know maybe there's something to this as a business. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's exciting when you kind of make that kind of changeover. Yeah. Um, and so for people at home. Um, what would be the like a tip that you would give them for if they're thinking about starting a blog and they don't know where to start? Sure, yeah. Um, shameless plug for my ebook, Blogging Basics. Um, all my tips are in there. I also teach classes in London about blogging. Um, but if if nothing else, I would say um, find a niche. Um, there's a lot of blogs out there right now, and so if you want to really make a name for yourself, the easiest way to do it is to find a niche and really specialize in something. Yeah. You need to be passionate about it, right? Exactly. You need to want to write about it all day, yeah. night and day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, and what about for people that they have blogs, but they potentially have full-time jobs? So um, some tips maybe you can tell, or you know, some encouragement of like how they could uh, put more effort in, or what, what they could do to kind of help tip them over the edge to quit their, their full-time job. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's really important to carve out enough time, and having a full-time job is really difficult for that. When I was working full-time and blogging as well, I would wake up an hour early every day before work, and that was my time to work on the blog. And, yeah. and it's not to say that everyone has to do that, but find a night of the week or some time on every, every weekend that you could really set aside for it, and that really helps because then you actually have time to dedicate to growing it. Yeah, that's a good tip. I think people when they start blogs, they're like, I just want it to be popular already, yeah. and I'm I'm only getting one follower or two followers a day, so it's that it's that de definitely de dedicating that time to it. Yeah, I know I need to still dedicate a lot more time. Yeah, it's just yeah, life gets in the way, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I, I understand that, and even I blog full time, and I still wish I had more time. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. something everyone struggles with. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little about, so you write for A Lady in London, um, and you also help out the BBC with social media. Yeah. Um, any other things that you do um, that, you know, as part of your foray of kind of writing and editing and coaching? Yeah, so I, I do the freelance um, kind of social media photos for BBC Travel on their Twitter and Instagram accounts, which is a lot of fun. And yeah, I also do, Yeah, I also do a lot of speaking and lecturing. Yeah. So I teach a lot about blogging and social media, and I do a lot of... Um, conferences and other things, which is a lot of fun. Okay. And how did you get uh, involved with the BBC? Was it something that you approached them with? Because I suppose a lot of bloggers, when they first start out, they don't know that they need to go out and try and get the business and try and get the campaigns and work with, with companies. Yeah, and that one, they actually came to me, which was really flattering. They found my blog just from searching on Google, yeah. um, and it was the fit that they wanted, and so they came to me. But I do think you have a really good point there that you do have to go out, especially in the early days, and you know, if you want to work with a company, you need to get in touch with them and let them know you exist and that yeah. you're interested. Okay, very good tip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know I always get asked, like, where's your favorite place in the world? But I just think that's too hard a question to answer. <laughs> so, let's just set up a day. If you could have breakfast somewhere, okay. lunch somewhere, and dinner somewhere, where would that be in the world? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I would have breakfast, um, gosh, I would probably have breakfast in San Francisco. Okay. Uh, I'm from there. Yeah. There's some amazing brunch places there that I just could go back to over and over and over again. Um, so I'd probably start my day there. Yeah. Um, lunch, I'd probably want to be somewhere with uh, sort of by the sea with a nice view. So maybe somewhere in Greece. Um, that would be nice, just uh, relaxing, having a glass of wine. I love Greek food. The Mediterranean yeah. cuisine is really great. I love Greek food. Yeah. I, go, I went to Greece twice this year as well. Oh, nice. that's great. Yeah. yeah. And then dinner. 
I might head east again and um, go to Thailand. Okay. I love Thai food. I'm not great with spice. I wish I was better, but I love yeah. the balance of flavors in Thai cuisine. Oh, nice. That sounds like a very nice day. Yeah. Very nice day. <laughs> So you've been in London now for is it seven years? Um, almost eight years. Eight years, eight years now. Years yeah. yeah. And is this now home, or is this? Are you looking elsewhere to like maybe start a lady in London somewhere else, or maybe like London moves to Thailand, or <laughs> do, have you ever thought about basing yourself somewhere else? Um, I think London is home at least for the medium term. I don't have any plans to leave. I love London. Um, I got citizenship last year, so I can stay, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, sometimes. Um, I think about where else would I want to go, but there's never an answer, so I think yeah. until there's an answer, I yeah. can be here to stay put. Yeah. Um, awesome. So what can people see that you've got coming up on the blog? Um, have you got quick trips planned for the rest of the year? Yeah, I've got a number of trips planned. I'm heading to Ireland this weekend, and then I'm off to speak at a conference in Croatia next week. Um, oh, cool. I've got a trip to Paris, a trip to Normandy coming up. I'm going to be up in Scotland for a while. So there's lots of travel coming up. I've just launched a monthly newsletter this morning. So I that's read it this exciting. morning. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Yeah, so there's a lot going on right now, which yeah. is great. Excellent. Yeah. Well, if you want to learn more about what Julie does, I'm going to put the link in this YouTube video um, about where you can go to her courses and her yeah her blog and also Instagram. She's got over 80,000 followers on Instagram, so it's one to watch and like uh, get tips from and that kind of thing. So, thanks, Julie. Thank you. Thank you.